Oh dear god. What... what was he thinking? Oh, why does he do this? Hey, Sean, we're not actually reacting to anyone's videos today. I've, I've seen so many of these reaction videos, like people reacting to musicians' performances or new products um, or reveals or trailers, uh, and especially to other filmmakers' stuff, and there's so much criticism in there that it makes me really sad. And so I wanted to take a second and just reflect on the negative comments I see and where I have negative comments about other creators and where I think that comes from. So we're gonna go through this quickly. Thanks for sticking around. Sorry about the clickbait. So my channel as it grows gets more and more comments and I get negative comments about you know, how things are lit, how they sound, my actual technical thoughts on a product after using it. Uh, and I get a lot of mean comments about my hats. Whenever I, I take the time to read one of these reviews, I, I check out the channel Negative comments typically come from people who have never actually made anything themselves. So they don't have a respect for the process and the work that it takes. They're just sitting there criticizing without putting themselves out there. And so I wanted to talk for just a second about that because negative reviews in general, like even with movie reviews, I don't understand why someone would write a review saying how bad something's writing was or how bad the camera was. Like Hollywood movies, there's a whole industry that just criticizes them. And I just don't get the point. What do we gain as a society from just tearing apart the things that we create? Because it's not constructive. We're not using that to create something better. We're just cutting something down and, and putting down the work that a lot of people put into these things. And so YouTube videos are a tiny microcosm of this entire, this phenomenon of just being mean to things and criticizing them, especially from people who don't make things themselves. I think you'll find that like true directors and writers don't criticize so painfully the directing and writing of other directors and writers. It comes from people who are critics who don't have experience with what it takes to create these things. But I do find myself, as I watch things, rolling my eyes and judging creators, and I don't want to do it publicly, but I started to think about why. Why do I do this and on what? Because tech review videos, I never criticize. I never criticize tech review videos. I never criticize like makeup tutorials. And yes, I do watch makeup tutorials. I, I think it's brilliant, the artistry that goes into that and something that I will never be able to do. But what I do find myself criticizing is if somebody's playing guitar and singing, if somebody's making like a little sketch comedy video or doing some live stream, that's when I'm like, oh, they don't know what they're doing. Oh, their lighting should be better. Oh, they're doing that wrong. And I realized that what I criticize is the type of content that I'm trying to create. And I don't think it's a genuine criticism of what they're creating, but it's just me projecting my own insecurities onto their content, anticipating what people are gonna say about mine. And I guess trying to build a case that doing anything like what I'm trying to do is so hard to get right. Look, they can't even get it right, so how am I supposed to be expected to get it right? It's taken some time to step back and say, oh, this isn't what I should be spending my energy on, and kudos to them for putting out some content. I may not agree with some of it, I may have done it differently, but to create something and click upload or click stream takes some serious effort and that effort should not be criticized especially because we're we're constantly getting better every time we put something out that you or we may think is bad that's an opportunity for us to grow and i challenge any creator out there to look back at your old content and not see stuff that's worse than what you create now we're always improving we're always learning and we can always look back and say oh can you believe what i thought then it's, it's the growth as an artist, and, and that's what we are, is we're artists. And so, if you were to take a doctor, for example, if a doctor botched a surgery, you wouldn't make fun of the doctor. You understand the effort that goes into it, and there's gonna be failure, and it's heartbreaking, but you don't make fun of a doctor for messing up their job. Why would you make fun of a creator? Why would you make fun of a director, a writer, an actor for stumbling, for getting something wrong, for not nailing it, for not being absolutely perfect, especially when you don't do that and you don't know the amount of work it takes. And so take a step back before you criticize. And the other thing, with these creative endeavors, if you have like a six-year-old niece or nephew who makes a video and shows it to you, 
there's a good chance it's gonna be bad, but you would never make fun of them. In fact, you would probably think, oh cool, look, they're trying something. Why is it different that when a 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 year old person creates something that we're like, oh man, you should have given up. This isn't for you. Don't even bother. Like you missed the boat. You should have been an accountant. Whatever that, that criticism, that, that dismissal is, what age do we pick to not be allowed to try something, to not be allowed to explore creativity a little bit? Because if it's okay for a six-year-old and an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old and a 12-year-old and 16, at what point do we say, you know, you're 18, you've got to just not try things anymore. Anything you put out there needs to be perfect or we're going to tear it in half. I can't get behind that. And I hope that over time, as more and more people become creators, as it becomes easier and easier to create with the tools that we need, I hope that more people understand that any act of creation takes work. And so long as it's something that's not cutting someone else down, it's a pretty cool thing to have created something when there was nothing before. So that's my challenge to you. If you're out there and you're criticizing content or looking at other things, take a moment to, to realize the effort that goes in, the initiative, the follow through, the perseverance to create any one thing, let alone a library of things in the face of a lot of time this public criticism and our own internal criticisms and self doubt. So support other creators, no matter what they're creating, as long as it's positive, people are creating mean things that is exempt from all of this. Don't create mean things, build beautiful things, make the world better today than it was yesterday. Add a little bit of beauty to it, but go out and encourage other creators. Leave comments on bad videos with something you liked. Find, find the, the nugget that you appreciated. The one thing, even if it is just the, Hey, awesome that you made a video. Awesome that you made a song, you wrote something, even if you didn't love their voice, their performance, find some way to leave a positive comment. Uh, not on my video, I, I swear I'm not fishing for compliments here, but when you're done watching this, go watch something else and leave a positive comment and let's raise that discourse a little bit. Let's raise that level of conversation that we have with each other and make YouTube and the place where we wanna put things a happier, more welcoming place than it often can be. And if you're a creator and you're seeing negative comments, check their channels because odds are they don't make anything and therefore they have no grounds to criticize you whatsoever. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Hey, Sean, we're not really actually reviewing or reacting to anyone's videos because that's dumb to me because a lot of times these videos are just making, oh, I'm stumbling. I have to be above reproach. Caesar's wife. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Sean. No.